welcome back. Today I'm gonna do an unboxing, first impressions, and a review of the Alice Olivia by Stacey Bandit with Maybelline Collection. So I have here with me this pouch. So I have here my press release. I received this two days ago in the mail and Look at my press release. This is the first ever fashion makeup collection from Maybelline and it's exclusive to Asia only. First, let's talk about the pouch. So they sent me this pouch and it is one transparent one. A second pouch which is just black and white stripes. I think they kind of go together. And if you're in Singapore, you can get this pouch by spending $50 on Maybelline products and you have to buy at least one Alice Olivia Maybelline product. So yeah, but it's well stocks thus. I think it's a very very nice pouch, like the quality is very good and you can use them separately. For a freebie, I think it's worth collecting because an Alice Olivia pouch alone really costs like, I don't know, a few hundred dollars. So this is quite a good one. So let's dive into the collection. They sent me three lipsticks. I've got two creamy mattes and one shine compulsion. Um, these are the shades for the creamy mattes that I got, which I'll be swatching. I've got 656, the new nude, and 660 kissed. And for shine compulsion, which is a shiny gloss finish type of lipstick, I got this shade over here. And in my bag, I also got a City Mini palette, which is a eyeshadow palette. And it has this beautiful Alice Olivia logo once again. And there's also a Master Flush Stick, which is a blush stick, as well as a Hyper Curl Waterproof Mascara. I think the products are the existing Maybelline products, just that Alice Olivia did a customized or limited edition collaboration on the packaging. So if you're familiar with Maybelline products, I think these are probably must collects because they are so cute. So let's begin. Um, they don't really have a lot of base products in this collection so I'm just gonna start by using my own base. So today I'm trying out the Zhang Mool Essential Star Sealer Foundation. So I've never actually tried Zhang Mool before and I guess this video is also like a first impression of Zhang Mool, which is a Korean brand if you guys aren't familiar with Zhang Mool, She's a very very famous Korean celebrity makeup artist and she has a makeup academy in Seoul which is my dream to be able to attend one of her classes one day but uh, for now I can only try her products <laughs> and it's so far so good I really like how like lightweight and very fluffy it is And it also comes with a concealer inside here. The concealer needs a little bit of working into but so far so good. Okay, it's now time to review this. This is the Alice Olivia Maybelline The City Mini Palette. So this is $26.90 Sing Dollars. So first up, I really love the packaging. I think it's very iconic. It's kind of different from all of the Maybelline's palettes, so that makes it quite limited edition in that sense. And I really love how chic and small, and I like that it's see-through as well. So in there, you have an applicator with a sponge side and a brush side and six colors. So I'm gonna swatch them for you guys. Okay, so I've swatched them all six. I would say that these three shades are more for like base and these three shades are more of the pop of color. They are quite pigmented, especially these three over here. Th these two shades are very pigmented and off the bat, they're quite pretty, quite easy to use. So let's try and apply it on our eyes. I'm just gonna use the shade over here. 
Okay, the thing is there's no mirror so you probably need to bring a separate mirror with you. Oh wow, I love the colour. It's like chrome, a chrome finish. Shadow, it's slightly copper. The quality is very good, it's pigmented, easy to blend and right now I'm just using my fingers because I've got them on the swatch earlier. So I'm just using my fingers, don't really want to bother too much with it. But it's nice, I love it. I think wearing this alone is actually pretty nice already. Okay, so right now I'm gonna take the pink shade. And now I'm taking this shade. Okay, right off the bat, I think the colours are beautiful. They are very easy to match. They are super suitable for people who likes pinks, who like to go for the coral, Korean vibe. I feel like this palette is super sweet. The only downside is that I wish they didn't have so many like whitish shades because the chalky white can't really be seen, to be honest, even in my swatch. And I wish they put in a darker shade, like a matte brown or something, and that would allow me to draw my brows or even draw eyeliner with it. So. Yeah, but overall, for the price, $26.90, I think it's a very, very good palette. Especially if you're starting with makeup, this is very easy to use. It's small, it's handy, very travel-friendly as well. And I think you can even use this shade as a highlighter. Taking this shade. Mm, looks well as a highlighter. Next up, we have the Alice Olivia Master Flash Stick. So, this is in the shade Selfie Stick Glow. There is only one shade in the collection and this is $21.90. Just use my fingers on this side to see the difference. The colour isn't that pigmented but it's definitely layerable. It's quite blendable. It's quite good and I really like the shade. I think it's quite suitable for all skin types as well. Not skin types, skin tones. So next up, we will Move on to eyeliner. I don't have the Alice Olivia eyeliner with me, so I'm just gonna use my own. So this is the Ella's Olivia Maybelline The Hyper Curl Mascara and it has a very cute packaging. I think this is my favourite packaging so far. It's just a sleek black with the iconic Alice Olivia Lady logo over here and she's closing her eyes with very nice lashes. Usually if you guys notice, she's always in sunglasses. So this one is to show that it's a mascara and I thought that was so cute. So this is a normal hypercold mascara from Maybelline and mascaras are definitely Maybelline's forte. They do very very good mascaras, um, especially, I don't know why but like I feel that a lot of western brands, they don't do mascaras as well but Maybelline is one American brand that really does it super well especially on Asian lashes. It separates my lashes but it kind of fans it out in a very nice way without being too clumpy and I really love it, yeah. If you're a fan of the Hypercurl Mascara, you really need to collect this one because the packaging is the cutest. The mascara costs $19.90. Now let's talk about lipsticks. I've got three over here, so I'm gonna swatch the Shine Compulsion lipstick first. There are three shades in Shine Compulsion. They cost $16.90 each, so this is the SRD56. 
this actually has a lot of glitter. So this is a slightly glossy hydrating formula. The colour is like a orangey red and there is a few specks of glitter in there that makes it look very juicy but it also accentuates my lip line. So if you have dry lips, I think it's best for you to exfoliate first and put on lip balm before you apply this lipstick because it's gonna accentuate your lip lines like this. On to the Creamy Mattes by Color Sensational. So I've got two shades over here. The New Nude as well as Kissed. So their packaging looks like this. Compared to the Shine Compulsion, it's actually see-through, but this one is matte white. And the logos are here. The new nude. And this is Kissed. I really love these two colours. I think they're beautiful like very beautiful mattes, so I'm gonna try the new face. Very easy to glide, the colours are so pigmented, just one swipe is all it takes. It's not sticky, you almost don't feel anything on your lips at all. It has a kind of creamy texture, but it kind of dries down to a matte finish. This colour is very nice. Okay, now for Kissed. So this is a mauve nude colour. It's not exactly like nude nude, but it's very beautiful. Overall, I love the collection. I think the packaging is super cute and as usual, Maybelline really just rocks with their formula and their low price point. I think these are slightly more expensive than their usual collection, but correct me if I'm wrong, let me know in the description box below because I'm not super familiar with the prices. They are really quite affordable and especially if you're a beginner to makeup, you want to own something Alice Olivia but you know you don't want to spend so much money on all of the like fashion items, you can get this makeup collection because it's very beautiful. I'm not sponsored to do this, I just wanted to share with you guys and try makeup with you guys. Let me know if you like this type of videos. If I have to choose my favourites, it would be these two new lipsticks and of course the packaging of the Hyper Curl Mascara, like it's so cute and it just looks like a very beautiful and very atas, very expensive, luxurious mascara but people wouldn't know that you paid less than 20 bucks for it. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!